with the news. 5G is not what you think. 5G is a military weapon. And everybody got to be put on lockdown for they can put up some infrastructure like antennas, more towers. And this 5G stuff, y'all, it's not good. It caused cancer. It caused flu-like symptoms. Uh, 5G, the frequency, the waves that travel, the micro radio, radioactive waves that travel through the air is tremendous. But we're going to take a look at it and see what 5G is all about. Try to get a little bit. 5G is coming. 5G. 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 Well, technically it's here. Kind of. Maybe. Slowly. This fifth generation cellular network is 10 times faster than 4G LTE. That means instead of waiting five minutes to download a movie on Netflix in 4G, it will take just 30 seconds on 5G. So it could even replace your home's current high-speed internet service. The new standard means devices can communicate with each other with no lag. You know how when you write with a pen, you see it as it happens? That's zero latency. That's pretty much what 5G can do. No waiting. That opens up the possibility for things like wireless VR experiences and more reliable driverless cars, thanks to the ability to analyze and process data at faster speeds. It's an exciting time for faster, more connected devices. But more, there are some obstacles 5G needs to overcome more before connected we can to really devices, all but of its amazing No connection benefits. to God. First, we need a whole new infrastructure. Your cell phone provider, for example, will need to install a lot of new equipment. This is why they technology. have to put you on because lockdown. This uses a totally Installation. different wavelength than the 4G standard your phone currently uses. The 5G standard uses millimeter waves, which are a lot shorter than the wavelengths 4G uses. The shorter wavelength means 5G can carry a lot of data much faster than 4G, but it also means a much shorter range. 4G wavelengths have a range of about 10 miles. 5G wavelengths have a range of about 1,000 feet, Whoa. not even 2% of 4G's range. So to ensure a reliable 5G signal, you gotta be standing next to an antenna all day. There be cell towers and antennas everywhere. We're talking on every lamppost, traffic light, etc. because even trees can block 5G signals. 5G isn't gonna be cheap. You know, each node or, you know, mini cell tower needs some kind of connection to it. And that means laying down fiber optic cables. And, you know, it's, uh, it's still an undertaking. And it's definitely not in the millions. It's definitely in the billions. It's around the world. Like coronavirus. Not only will this cost billions of dollars, but there's also pushback from many local communities. One of the biggest problems they face is actually local governments, local communities who don't want these carriers to build towers or antennas all over the place. Or maybe they're afraid of the health risks, which is another big concern. Some are concerned that 5G radiation may cause cancer. The FCC so far has said that they it do have any problems or concerns with 5G radiation, but they have said they still need to do more research. Despite all that, Verizon already wrote out the beginnings of its 5G network to parts of Chicago and Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. AT&T gotcha, currently Chicago. has about 19 cities with 5G capabilities. And Sprint and T-Mobile say they'll be releasing their 5G networks sometime in 2019. So while 5G is being rolled out, it is very slow and in limited areas and non-city and rural areas will be more difficult to cover since 5G has... So that's why, partially why you guys understand why you're on lockdown is for them to make the transition. Uh, we're gonna look at some more information. This is Cool Blues, news that you can use. On all the different things that they've wanted to roll out in America. And I want to go over what those things are, what to be wary of. And isn't it interesting the psychology of the American people, how easy it's been to corral the sheep, so to speak, in their homes without them asking any questions 
and with the Constitution of America truly suspended. Now, we need to understand that quarantine is de facto martial law. And Donald Trump just warned a few hours ago via Twitter that he is considering de facto martial law, an escalation of the existing quarantines in the states of New York, New York City, Connecticut, and there was one other state where he's considering those actions right now. Now, of course, a lot of people from New York City have already fled, and then they're, if they are infected, they're spreading the infection all across the country. Now, in addition to that, America now, allegedly, if, the, if these, this is to be believed, has more cases of COVID-19 than any other country in the world, eclipsing over 100,000. We took the lead. The official mortality rate is now Just like in the Olympics. We might see that we drop overtook as China. cases progress, or we could see it go higher as the case of Italy. USA, mortality USA. Rate. Now, by the way, I don't know anyone with COVID-19. No one. I don't, I don't know a single person. I have millions of followers online. And nobody that I know among my audience, let me know if you know anyone with it, among the people that I follow, have it. The only people that say they have it are like Prince Charles. So celebrities, mind, celebrities, a critical thinker. They've shut down the entire you guys, country. guys, idols. They're checkboxing all of this new agenda right now, and the American people are buying a hook, line, and sinker. And personally, I know no one that has COVID nineteen, and I have millions and millions of people to follow me, and I know personally of, of people online. I don't know anybody that. either, man. Let me give you an example of what de facto martial law is. If you drive where I am right now, a cop will pull you over and ask you what you're doing. And if you don't say that you're going to the grocery store, they will issue a $5,000 fine or you will be put in jail up to some six months. Does that sound like freedom of movement to you? Does that sound like freedom of association or freedom That's of That's why the or freedom prisoners of were released in Chicago. Condition? I did hear a very good to make story room for you guys. A gun shop in Austin, Texas, refused to close down because he said it was an essential service, and the courts actually upheld that because, of course, that is baked into our Constitution. Also, habeas corpus was so essential, it's not in the Bill of Rights, it's in our Constitution itself. And that has been suspended in this current environment. The courts have been suspended. Police officers are allegedly being infected, and they're worried about civil unrest in America. Now, we're seeing this in China and Wuhan right now, where there were riots after the opening up a little bit of the quarantine in China. And we have to ask the question, is this coming to the United States of America? And unfortunately, many people believe that is the case. So let's talk about what the new order is. Let's talk about this new agenda. Now, we know there's a monetary agenda. We know that they just wrote a bill for $2 trillion. It's all about this new world order, y'all. The clock has exploded, that uh, most Americans won't get a check. And if they do get a check, it'll be too little, too late. And most of the bill and the $2 trillion just goes to the elites and their hands and their pet projects and the things that they need and really don't help the American people at all. It is just an excuse new to basically world order. pass legislation as they typically do, as they did this in 2009. This to bail out certain industries with sweetheart deals, whether or not this is the airlines or it is the too big to fail banks or it's any other industry that Donald Trump has nationalized, like, for example, ordering General Motors through executive action now to produce a billion plus masks instead of producing cars. Now, why would they do that? Let's just stop there for a minute. Why would they produce a billion masks unless they were expecting many, many body bags in America. Think about that for a minute. I mean, again, two weeks ago, they said it was the flu. I was arguing with people it wasn't the flu. They were going to shut everything down. People said, no, no, no. CNN told me it's just the flu. And Donald Trump told me it's just the flu. Now the whole country shut down. Now people are arguing me, with me about de facto martial law. Now, I have to say this, but if you're still arguing, maybe you shouldn't be here. Secondly, you have cognitive dissonance and normalcy bias, and the truth is, this stuff scares you. And the things that I'm saying, because they are the truth and they're scary, you don't want to believe it. You don't want to believe your government is tyrannical. You don't even want to study history. Again, you can study history and totalitarian Our government, government, is government bogus. to Stalin to Hitler implemented the same quarantine measures as you're seeing today as they rolled out a death by a thousand cuts, eventual martial law and war and subjugation of its people and citizenry. That is why our founding fathers feared 
a king so much. And that's why we have habeas corpus, the right to a judge, jury, and trial. But that's been completely eradicated. You know, Donald Trump signed the National Defense Authorization Act as well as Barack Obama, and now you don't have any rights. The courts are suspended. Even if you tried to sue someone, you can't sue. Got the it. Are suspended. The police departments are getting infected. Your rights so are taken away. In America today, I'm out. No rule of law.